So the question I'm answering today in this short vid is, is the only solution to someone not respecting your boundaries to walk away? No, that is not the only solution, but it's an interesting way of phrasing a question. And this is why so many of us fear getting good at boundaries, learning what they are, because we feel like it's going to end all of our relationships. And that isn't true. Now, there are so many things to do in between letting someone trample over, all over your boundaries and ending a relationship and going no contact, right? But both ends are like the extreme. So what we have to do is find the place in the middle, which is alerting someone to the fact that there's a problem with whatever the information is, making a simple request that they stop the behavior or that they keep their word or whatever the boundary violation is. Um, if someone is trying to always wear down your no, like you say no and they keep asking the way kids can do, that is something that you have the power to say, hey, I'm not having this conversation. Again, I expect you to respect my decision or my decision is final or my decision is not up for negotiation and you continuing to ask the question that I've already answered really makes me feel disrespected or whatever. So really the question is all about your skills, right? As your boundary setting skills and your boundary IQ, IQ get raised, you will be able to to have a whole plethora of options, action choices that you can make that are in between allowing people to trample on your boundaries and ending every relationship where someone is a bit of a boundary bully. So I hope this was helpful. Sending you guys all the good vibes. And as always, take care of you.